accomplish your weight loss goals with this advice. Anything worth having is never easy, but when it comes to weight loss, having some good information really makes the journey a whole lot easier. Use the tips, tricks and advice offered in this article to help you avoid some of the stumbling blocks that dieters inevitably face along the way. Enjoy the occasional serving of avocado. When dieting, most people tend to avoid avocados, due to their fat content, but feel free to enjoy an occasional serving. Avocados are a great source of beta-carotene, potassium, folacin and vitamin C also, the primary fat in avocados is the good fat, monounsaturated. That being said, if you are watching your weight, don't go overboard. Half an avocado contains up to 15 grams of fat. The best time of day to exercise is in the morning, before breakfast. When you exercise before your breakfast meal, you are burning stored fat, instead of the energy from your breakfast. This helps you have energy throughout the day, so you do not feel depleted of energy before lunchtime. Replace whole milk with non-fat or 1% milk. They both contain the same essential vitamins and minerals that you find in whole milk. The only thing missing is the fat. A cup of non-fat or 1% milk contains 5 to 7 grams less fat than a cup of whole milk. It also has 30 to 50 fewer calories. Over the space of a year, this can really add up. Which can lead to greater weight loss. Counting calories to last weight? Don't replace sugar with honey when choosing a sweetener. Teaspoon for teaspoon, honey actually has more calories than sugar. A teaspoon of honey contains 21 calories, whereas a teaspoon of sugar contains 15. Honey has slightly more nutrients, but in the amounts that people use, it's not significant enough to make it worth the extra calories. Don't be under the impression that margarine contains less fat than butter, they contain exactly the same amount. 11 grams per tablespoon. Although margarine has less saturated fat than butter and contains no cholesterol, it contains trans fatty acids that have been linked to heart disease. For fewer calories, choose a diet or reduced fat margarine. Designate a particular area of your house for eating. Whether it's the dining or kitchen table, it should be used solely for eating. This way you will only associate a certain location in your house with food, and won't be tempted to eat when you are in other areas of the home such as in front of the television, or in bed. Serve meals straight from the stove. If you put the food in serving dishes before placing it on the table, it can be way too tempting to reach for a second or third serving. Put the desired amount of food on your plate, and when you are done, remind yourself that you are going to avoid the temptation of going back for seconds. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and use the information you learned here to start your weight loss journey armed and raring to go. Knowing is half the battle, and now that you know what you should and should not do, you are better equipped to get your weight under control once and for all.